How are you going? I'm so glad that you could join me on episode 20 day, 28. We are going to talk about chilies and we're going to make a chili paste. We're going to start. Are you ready? So when you work with chilies, the best thing to do is there's a couple of tricks I've learned through the years is have um, gloves, disposable gloves. And the first thing before you use the disposable gloves, put some virgin olive oil over your hands and it seals them because the chilies will come through the gloves if they're just the cheap plastic kind of ones. And it makes a big difference. Then when you take the gloves off, sometimes you'll find that you go to grab your, your face or, and, and you've got chilli and you think, well, I had gloves on. How come, you know, that is because it does penetrate. Chilli is very, very, very strong. So I've got some wonderful cayenne chilli peppers that I got from the local garden, market garden. Have a look at these. <laughs> Talk about spice in your life. They're going to be fantastic when we... Um, this is a really good episode of preservation. I'm going to show you how to cook them, put them in the oven, and then put them through the food processor. And, and then you can serve them and you have them in a little container. And, and from that little container, you just add virgin olive oil, top it up, and they will stay in your fridge for months. And every time you want to use chili, you've got fresh chili that you created and you made. So this is not chili season, but they are from the local market gardener. Chilies come through in summer. They come through the beautiful blazing sun that we have in Australia. How wonderful. We don't get that much, but you know, the, the sun does blaze and it does get very hot and that it fires them up and they come through. So now we're going to just, um, I'm actually going to wash them first. I like to wash them and then I'll pat dry them. Okay, really good frying pan in which we you will need a really good frying pan that you can put it in the oven or it's up to you you can actually get the frying pan and then from the frying pan you can just stick it um, into a tray and then cook it in the oven or what's right for you that's what's important so um, cover the frying pan with virgin olive oil We've pat dry these beautiful cayenne red chilies. I will just cut the top of them and I will slice them. We want the pips because that's where the heat is. If we take the pips off, that's where there's not gonna it's not gonna be really hot, even though it'll the, the pips and the, and the chili um, flavor penetrates into the, the meat of the chili, of the, uh, the cayenne pepper, but I like it a really good chili. So I'm gonna cut them up and then we will um, fry them. I love the cayenne peppers. They really, really are totally different to normal just chili. There's so many different types. Like, I didn't even know there was just like, growing up I just thought there was one kind of chilli. But as you, as the world progressed, we've got that many different types of chilli. Now this is just absolutely, have a look at these. They're, they're, they're gonna cook and we're gonna cook them and just sear them. Sear them is just covering them for a few minutes and then I'm gonna put them in the oven and we put them in the oven at a high temperature and we just um, toss them around a few times 
until they have gone a really nice brown. Um, and not too, because some people burn them, but not really too burn, because when we put them through the food processor, if we burnt them, then the skin will be brown and the chili paste, when we make it, it'll be brown. You want that really beautiful red cayenne that they've got and you want it to, to stay that way when it's created into a paste, it's like so inviting and saying, come on, put me in the food, put me in the veggies, put me in the pasta, put me on chicken, put me on fish, put me on meat. You will love it. You really will. It's just simple. And you can do this if you've got a whole lot of chilies, you can do it in a wok. Um, if you've got a whole lot of chilies being given to you from you know your neighbour or you you've gotten them and you think, oh, they're beautiful, and you can preserve them that way. And it's a great way of having them in the fridge in your own um, environment, and you know what you've put them, what you put in the the paste and the condiment and you know you can't go wrong can you? you you really can't the chilies are cooked in the oven have a look at them have a look at the texture i'm going to let them cool down a bit see i didn't i didn't want to brown them too much there you can help so you can really have a look that way have a look at that I'm gonna let them cool down a bit and then I'm gonna put them through the food processor. I've put them through the food processor. I wish that you can smell them, really, honestly. Um, the roasting in the oven, this isn't much, but it's just enough to be able to show you how to start. And that's what's important, yeah, that I wanna, I wanna show you how to start having little things that can make your life a lot easier in the kitchen makes it just and you notice I've still got my gloves on because it's pretty potent and cayenne is very strong so I've got them in this little container and I'm going to top them up with virgin olive oil and then I'm going to stick them in in the um, fridge and that's where they'll stay and every time I need some chili paste of fresh cayenne chilies, I'll just get a teaspoon. And if I need to, I will um, top it up with oil like that. And presto, you have your own chili paste. You don't have to wonder the preservatives, the additives, the numbers on the ingredients. All that's in this is chili and virgin olive oil. That's it. If you want to add a little bit of garlic, if you want to put a bit of oregano, or you want to put a bit of spices yourself, then you can just build this beautiful chili paste from scratch and you will not buy chili paste ever again. When you look at those ones over there, just the smell of homegrown roasted chilies are just phenomenal. And they will just add flavor to all the recipes that you want to put chili in. I hope you've really enjoyed this very short video on how to make your own chili paste if you have enjoyed it can you please subscribe like comment and share i'd love to have you on board in my community okay i'll see you next time ciao